Hello everyone and welcome back. So I'm very excited to share this haul with you guys because I've been looking forward to these things for a long time. You may or may not know that I've been on a juice fast and I've lost a bunch of weight so I kind of needed new clothes and some other things so this was like a perfect excuse for both. Um, and my grandma and my mom, like this was their way of supporting me, you know, and they encouraged me and some of these things are actually presents from them. Like I picked them out and you know how it is. So um, I'm really excited to share everything with you guys and hopefully you're going to love it as much as I do because I'm just in love with everything and I honestly cannot wait to be able to wear them but first I need to finish my juice fast so I can enjoy life properly but I'm very close in the 90s gonna hit 100 soon and yeah and I'll leave a link to that as well in case you want to uh, be on that journey with me or see what I've went through because it was quite an experience or it still is because it's not over yet but anyway let's jump into this haul the first thing is um, I'm actually wearing it and this is a cable knit uh, cardigan and it kind of has like this shawl thing happening with it already um, it's not super long it like semi covers my tushy it's not that long it doesn't have like any way of like closing it or anything like that but i guess you could like put a brooch or something and you can always like dress it up or dress it down depending on the occasion i would have liked it to be a little bit longer um but that's fine it makes up for these like super long sleeves which i keep having to pull up which i don't mind because you know I'm a little bit tall, like I'm 5'7", I'm not like super tall, but I always have a problem because everything is like this short. So I'm I'm loving this, I'm absolutely, I adore this and I haven't had a chance to wear it yet until now when I'm shooting this video. Like I wore it around the house, but just like you're so beautiful. <laughs> Moving on, I needed some boots and I've mentioned this before, like I'm going through a transitional phase in my life where like I want something different so i'm used to like mountain boots and stuff so this is like a step up let me tell you these are new look boots i actually got them like a size and a half larger than i would normally need them just because i want to wear them um like when it's like really yucky outside and i want to wear like really thick socks and it has two zippers it has this one which is not functional it's just from for design and then it actually has the functioning zipper on the inside and I haven't gotten a chance to wear them yet but I love them and they're like super duper comfortable and I'm really happy that I got them a size larger I don't know how much dirt actually they're not that dirty on the sole <laughs> because I've just been wearing them in the house but they look like they're gonna have like good traction and stuff and I'm absolutely in love with them. I mean, how cool are these? And they're not leather, so I'm, I don't like, I'm not worried about like stepping into puddles or like melted ice or whatever, because that was a big concern. Because I do have like uh, boots, but they're leather boots and they will obviously stain. So these puppies, I can just jump in yucky mud with them and they're gonna be fine. Speaking of mud and yucky weather, um, I got these which are kind of like almost like riding boots sort of um, it's an interesting mix sorry about all the squeaking these are just some rubber boots and the contrast is going all crazy now um, so it's black with brown and I did manage to wear them one time they have this I'm telling you they look almost like riding boots and then they just have this bow on the end and they don't have like any padding or anything inside but i honestly got them for walking princess because we like to go on the bank of a river and it's super duper muddy there so these will come in handy and in snow and i got them in a size larger again just so i can fit like really thick woolly socks in there so i'm not freezing my toes off when we're going and like the snow is going to be like this high so actually i did get to try these out um when i was taking princess to the vet a while back and it was really ugly outside um, and surprisingly they did fantastic and if you see like water stains it's because I had to wash them so yeah I didn't I didn't think that um, 
rubber boots could be actually fashionable, but these turned out to be really nice. Switching it up a little bit, this is not actually something you can wear, but technically you do. This is a lip gloss that I got from Lidl. It's their Sien brand, and it just, to me, this screams holidays. It's like pink with like sparkle. I'm actually wearing it right now. Depending on like how much or how little you put on, you can get just like a little bit of a shine, or you can get like full glassy effect. And Honestly, they had more colors, but this was the one that spoke to me, and this is in some color that I can't see, Diamond Rose, but I will have all the info down below, so yeah, I think this goes like perfect. It's like so festive, like I, I think just like sparkles are fantastic during the cold months. I mean, when are you going to get away with like sparkly lips? Now this next item, I can't say that it's very like winter specific. But I mean, it's leopard print. It's kind of like a throw cardigan type of thing. It has that high-low effect where it's like straight in the back and then it droops in the front. You obviously can't see anything. Um, but I saw it online and I was like, you have to belong to me. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. And it has like, I mean, it's just like a square panel thing and then you have like little openings for the sleeves um it's not very thick but you know i mean it's leopard print <laughs> i don't know i couldn't resist it so to me like leopard goes all year round and if you put it under like a heavy like coat or something then it's absolutely winter appropriate maybe not wear it with a tank top uh, pair it up with something else but i think it looks fantastic now this is something more winter appropriate and everything is flying everywhere. This is again from Lidl. This is a pink jumper and I actually bought it a while ago and it is, can you see, it's a size large. So I was quite, ow, I just hit myself. I was in the beginning of my juice fast when I actually bought this and I didn't even know if it was gonna fit me because back then I wasn't fitting into a large, but I can safely say that this thing looks really good right now and it's fitting me really nice. And it's that kind of like, I don't know if you can see, it's like fluffy, you know, that fluffy fabric. I don't know, like I think these were like all the rage or still are. Like I think the trend started a couple years ago and I saw them and I was like, oh my God, I need this. And again, it's not wool. It's synthetic but it's all fluffy and it goes with my pink lip gloss don't you think so yeah and uh another note like doesn't that chick look like what's her name courtney kardashian weird again from lidl i bought myself two pairs of jeggings and i know you might not see a difference because it's very hard to tell but here, maybe the camera is gonna color balance adjust. So they're both, ooh, now we're all crazy colors. So they're both pretty dark colors. These are two pairs of jeggings that I got. And um, they do have the faux, well actually they have like real pockets on the back. And one of them is like a gray black color. I don't even know what they're calling it. And the other one is like a navy color and I got them in an extra large um, which previously it was not fitting into and I was like oh my god will these fit me and then now actually I could have gotten a large because they're a tad large <laughs> they're a tad big but I don't mind at all like I mean they could be all the way baggy I don't care I'm just really really happy with them and they're so soft and they're so comfortable and you can't beat a pair of good jeggings and Lidl always has them at like really good prices like they cost next to nothing and the last pair that I had I mean I wore it like there was no tomorrow and it lasted me like all like throughout autumn winter and spring they like broke like late spring or something and like my inner thighs because my thighs rub together you know curvy girl problems <laughs> so I think they're really good quality they're totally worth the money I'm so excited to like wear these with all the new stuff that I got
more boots because why not so I saw these online and I was like oh my god I think I need them in my life I've never had anything like this before they look like riding slash cowboy boots and they have these little things on there whoopsies um, which actually you can take them off so because I was worried I was like aren't they gonna get dirty haven't worn the haven't worn them outside yet but they're faux leather again so I don't I'm not gonna have problems like going into like mud or like rain because like I said I do have boots that are like similar to this like actual like cowboy boots things but I mean they're like a ice suede color so those are gonna get ruined in a second so it needs to be like really really bright and shiny outside for me to wear those but these I know that they're gonna have like no problems and the thing that I love is that it doesn't have a straight cut it goes like this so when you have them on let me try and show you they do this thing on your leg I don't know it just it gives your leg like a nicer shape and then obviously you have the zipper on the inside and these things kind of get in the way when you're trying to like get your feet in them but I mean the straps are adjustable and you can take this thing off but I think it looks kind of plain without it so and these look amazing with both the jeans the um, denim looking ones and the green the green the gray looking ones so I'm really happy and then they have like this gold detail which I wasn't sure about but then in person they look so darn good and they come pretty high up um, so yeah and they're like padded or whatever this thing is called but again I got them a little larger than I would normally need just to make sure that I can put some really heavy duty socks in there and make sure that my feet are not freezing. Speaking of keeping your legs warm, I got two things, two more things from Lidl. Um, these are some leg warmers, um, got them in black, and these are some, what are these, knee high, over the knee socks. Now I'm not going to wear them over the knee, this is what the over the knee socks look like they're super duper long they have a pretty knit pattern to them but honestly I got them for when I'm riding my bicycle and exercising like going for my 10k and I just put them on like regular socks and then instead of like pulling this all the way up over my knee I just roll it down scrunch it down kind of like a leg warmer sock in one and <laughs> The leg warmers do what they say so um, again they're pretty simple and I just put these over um, some thick socks again and I just use them when I do you know my workout with my bicycle so these are very much functional but I mean you could like use them for like more fashion related things not sport related things as you can tell from the pictures th these are pretty fashionable but that's not me I'm not doing that <laughs> I have nothing against it I just don't like I don't see myself wearing like a short skirt with like knee over the knee socks yet but who knows who knows what the future holds and my favorite piece out of all of them is this thing which is a long coat it reaches like all the way my arms are really long because I can show you guys this things go this thing goes all the way down to like my knees I think and if you can see it's like the softest prettiest baby pink fabric I don't know where you can see it but it's so fluffy and oh my god when I saw it online I'm like I must have this it's a very simple cut um, the buttons like they don't even show they're like these snappy things in here and this does contain some wool so even though it is relatively thin it's super duper warm like this thing that I'm wearing right now I'm like dying in it and it just has like simple two pockets and again this is an extra large I would have never ever in a million years fit into this before my fast so that's amazing and the inside 
like, are you gonna die or what? It's like even more pink than the outside. It's just like this, like softest kind of pink. I don't know what it is with me and pink this season, but in case you didn't get it, <laughs> like the coat, the lip gloss, the other fluffy sweater. I wouldn't pair all of the pinks together at once because I think that's too much. But I mean, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I think it's so... Oh, I just got a mouthful. <laughs> I think it's so elegant. I actually had to take it to the dry cleaners to have it like not clean but just like um, ironed because I don't know how to do that stuff and I didn't know how to like approach this. So yeah, I'm super excited to be wearing this and I know that it's maybe like too light of a color for like Christmas because you think like deeper darker colors for autumn honestly it almost looks like a spring coat to me but then again I always love to break the rules so why not wear like light colors in winter when everybody's wearing black and like really depressing colors you know what I mean but also I need to be super careful because I think this thing is gonna stain like there's no tomorrow. Now if you know me and you know my style then the next few items are not gonna come as a shock or as a surprise because I love scarves and everything that is similar. So I got this black um, knit scarf thing and it's just one of those chunky ones. I'm really sorry for the color balance going all crazy. So you can really get it like super chunky or you can just wear it like long like this and it's super wide I didn't think it was gonna be like this good quality um, I actually thought that they had like a few more colors like browns and reds and things and I was like I'm gonna buy all of them but um, I haven't had a chance to order some more but I'm just loving this I am loving this and again super warm and it doesn't contain wool the reason why I keep saying it doesn't contain wool is because I just watched a bunch of things with like about animal cruelty and stuff and not that I'm like advocating for it but it's kind of like if I can do the least amount of damage then my conscience is semi clear so yeah that's why I keep insisting like no wool and then the next few items are more scarves um, this one is, I, I can't remember what they called it, but it, it's some sort of a weird knit thing, which it looks really light, but it's actually, this thing does contain wool, um, and it is super warm, and most of these I got basically to like just, um, like tie around my neck with my ponchos, because I just, I mean, I love scarves, there's like... I can make a million excuses for buying the scarves really um, and I can never have too many. I do have a scarf collection video but I think my scarves have like quadrupled since I filmed that thing. So this is again like a buttery cream color because the girls gotta have options. I mean you need to have your white, your cream, your icy white, I mean why not. And then this really big um, brown one which I did get initially to make into a um, kimono because I do my own like DIY kimonos it's like this ruffly kind of fabric but here maybe you can see it better like that it's a different kind of brown it has like a reddish tint to it it's not your average brown so I don't know I'm thinking of maybe like keeping this and not turning it into a kimono and just using it as a scarf and then because I talked about ponchos and stuff um, I kind of have a problem so this is what I use <laughs> I do have a video on my DIY poncho and basically all I do is I get one of these throws or blankets from JISC um, they're the simple ones um, the measurements is 130 by 180 centimeters and I do two cuts three cuts to it and it's pretty much done I throw a scarf onto it and it looks absolutely stunning amazing I do have a DIY video so you can go check that out and um, no I don't just have one I have a bunch. So these are, <laughs> I have a problem you guys. 
These are all the ones that I still haven't had a chance to cut. I do have, I think in total I have something like 10. Um, well, some are cut and some aren't. So I have this icy blue one, which I thought, I don't know, like I always stayed away from this color, but I think like this paired with this, it's gonna look stunning. And I don't know, it's almost like that denim on denim look, if you know what I mean? So that's what I thought this would go great with. The green, obviously, I don't know, it's again, it's kind of like a spring color, but also it can be a fall color, especially if you pair it with a brown. So it depends what you pair it with. And I always wear scarves. So I always think of like what I'm pairing these things with. And then obviously like a classic black and white. I already have this, but in a different color pattern. So it's more like, um, beige colors, beige with brown, but this is like a simple white, gray, and black. And then I have this one, which is red, which is obviously for this season, um, meaning the holiday season. And it actually has these little, um, what are these like things called cut out thingies, not cut out, you know what I mean? Those things that are going to be on the bottom. So it's going to be even more cheery and definitely this with a white, I mean, it screams Christmas and it, it goes with anything really. And I mean, how inexpensive is this for a poncho? And then and this one, which I love this checkered pattern, if that's what it's called. Um, I know that it has a fancier name, but I can't remember. And this is an orange with white, which it is sort of different, but I'm definitely going to give it a go. And it's very much a throwback <laughs> because the first ever poncho that I made in the tutorial that I have is with this exact pattern, but it's a brown and a like, I don't think it's a full white. I think it's like a light cream color. And I've gotten so many compliments on that thing in real life. Like everybody's stopping me and asking me like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. Where did you get it? I'm like, it's a blanket. They're like, oh wow, really? There is this, um, neighbor of mine she's very fashionable she's she's well into her 90s i think but she's still i mean she's she's been like beautiful and fashionable all her life and she's the one who stopped me and she's like oh my god your mother bought this for you from italy didn't she and i'm like no it's just a blank <laughs> she was kind of taking back she's like oh you're very creative <laughs> so that happened um so yeah i'm really looking forward to this i think it's gonna look great with those riding boots even though it's the riding boots are not this orange but i just think it's gonna be like a nice pop of color and this for example i would match it with a cream color even though it has white in it i think white on white on white is a little bit too much so that's that and then i have this barney purple which i know you might be thinking oh, like i'm going cuckoo crazy uh, but i'm actually really excited about this color i'm not a purple person but i do have a scarf that has purple purple skulls on it kind of like um what was it like alexander mcqueen um type looking scarf and this is gonna look amazing so at some point i will film a video with all like a um diy poncho collection because i do have so many of them at this point i think i have like 10 or 12 or something including these that i haven't cut yet and by the way just has more throws so i don't think i'm going to be stopping making more ponchos to come i mean they're just they're so glamorous and they're so affordable and like why would you not give it a shot the only thing that you have to look out for is to buy fleece blankets because those do not need sewing because i'm not good at sewing and i mean you could hot glue it but who has time for that so that's it you guys i hope i didn't miss anything um if i did i will just include it in a future collective haul but i am dying of heat this thing is so warm like literally i just have like a tank top underneath and i'm dying <laughs> like this is so warm and so comfortable and i so love it and i could talk for like hours about these things because i'm so in love with them 
and also I hope that in the future I'm gonna be able to do like lookbooks or like try on hauls but for now we're stuck with this beautiful webcam that I have and that has helped me out so much I'm not insulting it one bit um, I'm just saying like I'm limited to filming here um, but I hope you like the things and I hope you maybe got inspired and please thumbs up the video subscribe if you would like to I would love to have you and I'll see you in my next video big hugs bye are you listening